Hello everybody, I'm Kalpana Ayer. I'm about to read five haiku from the book 101 Haiku written by my friend Dinesh Raheja. And in this segment, we have a different theme and the theme is twins. Dinesh Raheja has written these haiku for his twin grandchildren, his heartbeat and lifeline. Jaha and Nitara and for all the twins in the world and I do love children very very dearly. So here I go. I can't separate peace from the pod. I have seen cute twins in the cot. She balls her lungs out. He is quiet as a lamb. She has two new teeth. Gooey, saltless food. Twins eat without complaining. And I want pickle. The twins play with toys. We play with them. God with us. Life is just a game. And now I shall read my favorite in this segment. Two blissful angels jostle for space in a crib. Heaven is crowded. In the 16th episode, I had asked you to complete a haiku written by Dinesh Raheja. This is what he wrote. Benign elfin god rides a mouse from house to house. Much traffic, he flies. What did you write? You can't say sayonara to Japan without a visit to Nara. Nara is a small town near Kyoto. It was the capital of Japan for a brief period in the 8th century. After a quick breakfast in a cafe, I set out on the hour-long train journey to Nara via the Kintetsu Express. In Nara Park, we are greeted by the town's famous deer, who are tame and roam freely and mingle with the tourists. I purchased a packet of crackers, the Japanese call it Shika Senbai, for 150 yen to feed the deer. For those who want to do the math, 150 yen is approximately 100 rupees. The hungry herbivores pursue me the moment I make the purchase. The deers appear harmless but are not docile. One aggressive deer even snatches up a paper map from a tourist and raises many laughs. Other tame deer have learned to bow to visitors. Adjacent to the park is a centuries old Todaiji temple, which is an enormous 50 feet tall bronze statue of Lord Buddha. I burn a candle and pray for family and friends. Todaiji temple's main hall, called the Dai Butsu Den, is the world's largest wooden building. On the way back to Kintetsu Nara station, we alighted Kofukuji. I struggled with my camera to capture the five-story pagoda, Japan's second tallest, in my frame. The Japanese haiku master Isa wrote, and I quote, No doubt about it, the mountain cuckoo is a crybaby. Time now for two new words in Japanese. What do the Japanese call the mountain in their language? Yama Spelled Y-A-M-A and pronounced Yama And what do the Japanese call the bird cuckoo in their language? Kako Spelled K-A-K-K-O Kako Sayonara, goodbye but before you leave, you must watch the end for a little surprise from Kalpana Iyer. Did you enjoy the haiku? If you did, you can watch the earlier 16 episodes on Rock with DR channel. Please subscribe and share.